welcome back to my channel. This video is for my ladies who are probably watching this because they have absolutely no idea what to wear. Let me guess, you probably just left Pinterest looking through outfits or you just left Instagram looking through your saves for cute outfit inspiration and you couldn't find any and you're just stuck. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 different outfits to wear when you have absolutely no idea what to wear and you're in a rush, you need to leave ASAP. Starting off with a white turtleneck and blue jeans, you can wear a white shirt, a white hoodie, a white sweater, it doesn't matter as long as it's white, and you can wear any type of jeans, these are just like straight leg cut jeans. Now to make the outfit a little bit more spiced up, to make it look more flattering, I'm going to add a black belt. Now for jackets, I'm putting on a black leather jacket. Once you put this on, it's just going to look so much better, just, just wait. In my opinion, the outfit already looks so much better, now all we need to do is add on shoes. The last step, and this is completely optional, are accessories. I'm just putting on a black pair of sunglasses, and boom, we're done. This is the whole outfit. This is how simple it is to come up with this outfit, which is why I love wearing it when I'm late. For this outfit, we're gonna be dealing with white denim jeans and a white graphic shirt. This one does come with a striped long sleeve underneath it, which is a tip I wanted to talk about. If you wanna spice up your outfit and you don't really know how to do that exactly, I would recommend layering. It is so simple. So this is the outfit. Looks pretty odd right now, not gonna lie. First thing I'm gonna do is tuck this shirt in so we can kind of outline our waist. You don't want it to look crumbly. You don't want it to look puffy and weird at the top, so just really go in there and flatten the shirt out as much as possible. I love carrying little backpacks like these. This is from Dolls Kill. It's one of my go-tos. I'm just gonna add some ankle socks. There you go, another outfit done, complete. All things that you probably already have in your closet. White jeans, white shirt, I mean, you don't even need a striped shirt. You can just wear a regular black shirt under this shirt. It would still look really cute. Black belt, black bag, black shoes. Pretty simple. We already got the basics on. We have a pair of patterned soft pants and a big black shirt. First thing I recommend doing is putting on a necklace. You kind of want to add a little bit of a layered necklace just because there's not really much going on at the moment. You kind of want to add a little bit more spice to it. I would probably go for this bag of mine just because it's very casual. It's also my everyday bag. If you have a pair of cool sunglasses, you can just add these on. Again, it's just going to add more to the outfit because you're accessorizing. This is what accessories do. Now we're back with the first outfit that we started with. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a regular gray sweater over my white long sleeve turtleneck. Again, looks really odd. You're like, no, that is really big on you. You kind of need to fix that. Going in with my handy dandy black belt. If you want to crop a sweater without cutting it, what I recommend is getting a hair tie, kind of tucking it in and tying it in the back. Tie it and then tuck it in. If it looks kind of odd, just Pull on the sides a little bit to the point where it looks kind of normal looking. Tuck it in a little, kind of zhuzh it out. Boom! You see that? You see how we transformed this big ass sweater into something that you could buy at Urban Outfitters for like, what, $70? You're welcome. Now I have these cool ass dad sneakers from Fila and they go pretty well with this outfit. Kind of adds color to it. There you have it. Super simple, super casual, super comfortable. Yet yeah, bomb ass outfit ready in a matter of five minutes with things that you already have in your closet and it's just that simple. We're back, but this time instead of wearing blue straight leg jeans, I'm gonna wear some like gray blackish color. As we know, quite big on me. Belts are my best friend. And guess which one I'm gonna wear? On top of it, I'm just wearing a regular white kind of creamish color sweater with just some writing on it and i'm gonna add a chain because i haven't done an outfit with chains yet now let's say i'm not going to school i'm going to something a little bit more fancy or i'm going to like a casual event so i'm gonna put on some black booties it could be any black booties of your choice these are really cool because they have silver detailing there you have it that's your fit for you Next outfit 
it's gonna be with a skirt just because I feel like I've been showing way too many jeans. First thing I'm gonna do is obviously tuck this in. You guys already know that's my favorite thing to do. Because the sleeves of this are really long, I'm just gonna cuff them to, you know, give it a little bit more shape. Usually what I would do after this is I would go to my dad's sock drawer and just take out regular white socks. So for this outfit, I'm gonna choose some white dad sneakers. You can go with any shoe of your choice. You can wear this with Converse, bands, boots, whichever one floats your boat. The outfit's already starting to come together. If you want, you can leave it at this. I mean, if the weather was warmer, I would probably just leave it at this and put on a bag. But if it is a little bit colder, what I would do is I would kind of do like an Ariana Grande look and put on a hoodie. outfit I want to incorporate a blazer into it but blazers can be tricky because they are kind of sophisticated to be honest that looks a little too dark something it just looks too black don't you think so instead of wearing a gray graphic shirt I'm just putting on a white tank top this is from Brandy Melville let's see if this looks good know what belt I'm putting on I don't I don't even think I need to explain so now that we have our belt on I'm gonna add a chain just to make it a little bit more casual I'm just putting on a regular silver necklace not too big of a deal next up is shoes now this is the part where you can play around if you are let's say going to an event or you're going to a dinner or I don't know where you're going but if you want to dress it a little bit more up I would go with black booties if you want to dress it down make it even more casual I would go with sneakers. Now the blazer I'm wearing has little hints of purple in it, as you can see. And I happen to have purple sneakers because my bougie ass has purple sunglasses. I guess we're wearing those. And I'm wearing my little handbag from Topshop again. I think this outfit is a solid 10 out of 10. I am obsessed with it. I figured I should also do an outfit with a dress just so you guys can see how I would style that. And what I usually like to do with these dresses is I like to put on either like a colored shirt or a regular white shirt, whichever matches. I think next step is basically just shoes. If you want, you can whip on a pair of sunglasses. I have these blue ones from the Trading Post and boom. not naked I am wearing shorts I wanted to also do an outfit with shorts well my favorite thing to do especially when I'm wearing sweaters or like crew necks is I like to layer shirts or button-ups underneath that have a collar that way I can stick the collar out you don't want it to look like this so we're just gonna go down and just fix it pull it down a little now I do want the shorts to show so it doesn't look like I'm naked so I'm just gonna tuck the front of this sweater inside just like this if you want, you could go with a belt, but I like my chains a lot, so I'm going to wear my platform Doc Martens. If you have a fanny pack, I would recommend wearing it just because I feel like it goes with the flow of the outfit. All right, so with the fanny pack, the chain kind of looks a little odd. I think we're just going to get rid of this one. You've got your completed, chunky, Haley Baldwin inspired fit, and I think it's perfect for LA weather, for spring. I think it's just top notch. For the last outfit, I wanted to work with boyfriend jeans because they are a huge part of my closet and I love styling them. So for the outfit that I'm planning right now, I'm kind of making this imaginary occasion where I would go out and I would stay out all day so I wouldn't come back home till like late that night. And at night it tends to get cold but I usually don't really like bringing jackets around with me because it's hot during the day. So what I've been doing is I like to take these sweaters and kind of just fold them like this way. So it looks like that. And I put it around me and I tie it in the front. I know this gives you like um, tennis dad vibes. You get what I mean? I'll insert a picture. I think this is super practical because not only does it become a part of your outfit, kind of like an accessory, but it's also your jacket, so you don't have to carry it around all day. For shoes, I'm just gonna wear my white Nike Cortezes. I added on some accessories to add a little bit more detail to the outfit, so I'm just wearing a regular silver necklace. I also brought my black backpack, and I just put on some black sunglasses to tie the look together. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found the outfit inspiration that you were looking for. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so, so very much. And I will see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>